I want to start by asking you a question. How many of you in this room know someone who is facing a crisis? Quite a few. Okay, how many of you have ever walked through a difficult time? Exactly. And how many of you wished, while you walked through that difficult time, that your friends and family understood what you were going through and how to help you? Well, that's exactly what we're going to talk about today. If you have your Bibles with you, would you turn with them into, to Isaiah 40, verse 1. And we're going to see what God has to say about the art of helping and how to help someone who's going through a difficult time. Isaiah 40, verse 1 says, Comfort ye, comfort ye my people. Now, look very carefully with me. Does it say, comfort ye, comfort ye my people, if it fits into your schedule? Does it say, comfort ye, comfort ye my people, if you're good at it? God just said, comfort my people. But often we don't know how to comfort our people. We don't know how to reach out and comfort people who are hurting. So what are we to do, and how are we to help? One of my favorite verses in the Bible is Job 16.2. And think with me, if you will, back to Job. He's the one who's been put through so much. He's experienced such a difficult time, lost his crops, lost his, his livestock, lost his family. He's sitting there bemoaning all the horrible things that have happened in his life, and sweet friends stop by and they say, oh Job, there must be sin in your life that this has happened to you. Another dear friend stops by and he says, Job, you must be favored amongst God that he has brought this into your life. Another friend stops by and says, Job, you just need to have more faith. And Job 16, 2, I can just picture him. He cries out. He raises his hands to the heaven and says, Miserable comforters are you all. <laughs> Have any of you ever thought that way about someone who said something to you? Miserable comforters are you all. Well, it's my goal that as we finish this morning, that you will know how you can help how you can reach out and bring comfort to someone who is walking through a difficult time. Now you might ask, why in the world am I the one telling this, uh, sharing this story? Why am I the one who's bringing this instruction? I was attending a bookseller convention um, years ago when former Secretary of the Interior, James Watt, was introduced to me. Now this was a long time ago, because when he was introduced and the, what my topic was, he looked at me and said, what would a young girl like you know about hurting? Well, I kind of took a deep breath and I said, well, I've had two brothers, both of whom were hopelessly brain damaged, one who died at the age of two and one who died at the age of 19. My mother-in-law died of multiple sclerosis when she was 50 and my grandmother came to live with us for the final three years of her life while she battled melanoma cancer. And then, after my sons, um, I then had a pregnancy loss of my own, and as I'm telling this story, he puts his hands up and he says, that's enough. I believe you know what it is to hurt. So I come to you today with my own personal experience and what has happened in my life and when I wished someone knew how to help me. I wish someone understood the depth of what I was feeling, the, the deep um, sadness. I, I felt like I was raised with a, carrying a little black cloud around me because of that heartache that I bore. So on your notes, you will find there are some don'ts. There's a column that says don't, and if you don't have the notes, you can just take a blank piece of paper, um, and on one side, put don't, and on the other side, put do. And so what we're going to talk about are the things that we are not to do, and then I'll offer you the opposite, and this is what we are to do when we help other people. 
The very first thing we want to do is...